Hello everyone, now I'm going to show you a few variations of the same fly and uh, this is like olive mayfly thread nymph it's very easy to make so let's go one by one and see what's the difference this one as you can see has UV covered and protected body uh, the lightest one here, okay it's this one this one is just thread and wire and the middle one here like the middle it was middle so this one is a uh, wax thread wire and some thorax as all other have uh, the difference is just in like how complicated it is but basically they are all very easy to make so let's start let's not waste any more time and let's make it very very fast so start your body with light olive thread or whatever color you want to imitate your uh, insects around in your in your river. Now, first thing I want to do is I'm gonna add my favorite tailing material, Coctelion. You don't want to use too much of it, so just a few pearls. Now, because it's speckled, you could use you can use those speckles and. Uh, as a reference to how long your you want your tail to be, so uh, you you will have all the time the same the same length of your uh, tail. Now let me show you something. Put your focus at this point here. This is how you catch your material and just continue. Like it's easiest way to catch it and stay it in in the place. It's called pinch and loop. So make the loop between those those two fingers and then go with your thread so don't put your thread here because you're going to make a bump now put your thread at the next point like don't put it over the thread put it on the bare hook so go forward or rearward whatever you want to call it so make a loop put your thread not over the thread here but on the bare hook and pull tight now keep tension and go backwards and tie in your tail now what what else you need to do is you need to pull your tail slightly towards you because when you tie you will compensate you tie in this direction up and you pull your tail down so to avoid twisting the mater materials around the hook that's what you have to do now I'm gonna cut this here Okay, I need to remove the super glue of my scissors. Now use hook. Use the hook as a reference point for anything you do. It, it you will make your flies. Uh, it will make your flies much more consistent. So what I like to do next. This is my length of the body. I like to transfer my thread. So I'm not starting to tie at the same spot. I like to transfer it a little bit backwards and continue in touching turns here okay now you have just two layers of thread and what I like to add is wire but on the side of the hook keep the tension keep it very very tight you don't want to rotate pull also the, the wire backwards so pull it and stop here now go and now you have to create tapers so every time you go back you have to go a little bit less back than previous time okay so go back and this is it you don't need more than this now notice also one more thing I left a little bit of gap here I needed to fit my wire over there now don't pull pl pressure now pull it downwards and then by keeping the same angle all the time you will make your ribbing perfect but keep the pressure on your wire very very tightly because you want to make this wire to protect your fly now what I like to do now is I like to rotate and I like to catch with a couple of turns a couple of wraps now because we are 
wrapping wire and the thread in the same direction they are tightening each other tightening each other uh, more now next one is to sorry next one is just whip finish two three turns doesn't have to be very very big one actually it's preferred to be to to make a very small whip finish now add your sorry beavis 12 out but any orange or pink or whatever hotspot you want to make here or you don't want to make you can use black thread instead now it's time to use my favorite dubbing uh, UV a squirrel with some UV dubbing you can see it shining here so the trick with making a good thorax and not going too much into the body so you want to keep your thorax in this area here is to use a just a little bit of dubbing so as you can see I'm using just like ridiculously small amount of dubbing here but it will still cover the thread as you can see now you don't want to see I left these hairs just sticking out so you can leave these it's okay they will imitate legs so like two maybe three lengths of the of the body is enough to to make the thorax perfect now with quite tight turns you want to keep your dubbing in place make your thorax here and this is it whip finish your fly I like to use two whip finish knots this is one and sorry this is two I frayed my thread somehow never mind I like to cut it here and I will remove the fray okay this is it so this is thread mayfly olive nymph or olive thread whatever you want to call it with a small hot spot here now the main feature of this fly is like it's that easy to, to make it uh, sinks almost like perdigon but it has the thorax that will it, it will slow it down a little bit but keep it slim keep it as sparse as possible so don't use too much material and it will be very very good so thank you for watching if you like this video uh, give it a like subscribe if you didn't like it uh, comment down below uh, in whatever case and say me say to me what you like or don't like see you next time when i will tie something else